Hey everyone, it's Christy with Anchor Life 5. Thanks for stopping back by. We are going to continue on with the tutorial on our traveler's notebook. Um, this will be the third video, so make sure you check out the other two. Um, the first one, we actually made the cover and the, um, the inserts, and we did the binding. And then in the second video, um, I showed you how I made my shaker pocket and how I make the um, other little pocket sleeves right here. Um, so what I've done since then is um, with the paper pad um, that I was using, um, which is this from Hobby Lobby, I went ahead and I took the sticker page that came with it and I just decorated my notebooks a little bit. Um, so there's that one, and then this one has the roses, um, so I just added those inside of it because I didn't want to take away from the front, and then this one has the butterflies, and so I just added the butterflies in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these right here. These are the adhesive pockets that you get from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, they are $3 for a pack of 20 or 25 I believe, um, so I'm just going to to peel these off. Um, I like to kind of line mine up with the edge of my notebooks right there um, just so everything is kind of consistent. Um, and now we have a little front pocket right here and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one on the back because um, I just like a lot of storage in mine. Um, so kind of line it up and then add it, press it down really good, and then we have another pocket back there to add stuff on. So, um, for this tutorial, we are going, um, I'm going to share with you on how I make my page markers and also how I'm going to make um, a dashboard and another little um, folder, not really a folder, but um, I guess like another little insert um, using vellum. So um, first things, we're gonna go ahead and make the inserts. I found um, this vellum, and you can see it kinda has the wood grain, um, which I thought would be pretty because of this. And then um, I have this one also, um, and I thought that it kinda coordinated really well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna make um, a dashboard out of this one and then um, just another little little um, folder type of thing out of this one. So what we need to do <coughs> is we need to measure our covers right here to see what size we need to cut our vellum down to. So this is a eight and a half by six, so six by eight and a half. Let's go ahead and let's add that back on here. Bring out our cutting board. Bring it to six. And this is probably an eight and a half. Oh no, it's not, it's a 12. Huh. Um, eight and a half right there. There we go. Um, I am going to round my corners. Once again, that's just a personal choice. I like it. You don't have to. You can use your scoring board if you have one, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Just fold it. Um, so this was eight and a half, so it's going to be four and a fourth. Um, just if you use your scoring board, just don't press down too hard because you don't want to rip your paper. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this one over on our little score line. There we go. And that's, that's it to make the dashboard. Let's go ahead and cut this one down. by six 
six. I'm going to round my corners again. And if you don't have a scoreboard, all you have to do is just kind of line it up and fold it over. All right. So for our dashboard, um, actually for this one, this one's just going to be a little cover. Um, you can add what you want to in it. You can actually add another notebook or you can add pictures or whatever. Um, we are going to, let's see where I want to add this. Okay, I think we'll add it actually around this one. I don't know, that might be too much. I think that's too much right there. So, do, 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 do. Well, actually, we'll put our dashboard in around this one. There we go. And then, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet. We will see. Okay, for our dashboard, what I'm going to use is, see I moved everything. Um, I got these, and I got these from the Target Dollar Spot a while ago, and they just kind of match with the bohemian um, feel of it. So I'm gonna take some of these, take them off, um, I like to use another adhesive just because it really doesn't stick that well. Uh, so I'm going to open up my dashboard here and I'm going to put these up here. So just an extra little writing space. And then I'm going to take some of these gray ones, these little page flags. Just add an extra little adhesive there. And then I think I like these pink ones. So do the same there. All right, so there we go. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna add on my dashboard. Um, right now I may come back later and add some more things, but that is just a quick, simple, easy, way of making a dashboard and actually what I think I'm going to do is add this one inside of it kind of so now you have a double dashboard. There we go. So we have this and then this one and then our two pockets. All right what I also found um, at Hobby Lobby were these die cuts that are um, feathers and they really match with the theme. Um, these are on clearance. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of these in with the, um, like as little accessories. Let's see, let's do two of each color here. There we go. And I'm just going to put them in one of these little pockets. Um, and so whoever gets this, they can have some little accessories to do whatever you want with it. Um, I also have this little book that I got at Hobby Lobby. Of um, This is 3x4 journaling cards by Bella Rouge. Um, they were $4.99 and they really blend well with this book, with the... Um, they're kind of vintage, bohemian type. So I think I'm just gonna flip through here and find a couple that um, I think will coordinate really well. And we're gonna add those in also. Let me flip from this end. I like that when it's kinda got the colors. Beauty is as beauty does.
you can never have too many little extra things because um, you never quite know what you're going to need. So when I make my tins, I like to fill them as full as possible. Um, and then I think when I give them away or when people buy them, it's nice for them to have some extra little goodies. So here we go. And I am actually going to take these and I'm going to add them to my front pocket here. There we go. So we ended up making, we added our front pockets right here. And we made our dashboard, which is this one. And then another little um, flippy thing. <laughs> There we go, and there's our other side, and then we added another pocket back here. So there we go, guys. Um, things completely forgot that I was going to make <laughs> a, um, a page marker also. So here we go. All right, what I'm going to do with this is I am going to, um, these are the cut aparts that came in the pack. Um, I'm going to need two that are the same size, and I think that I really like the Life is Lovely, and maybe this Good Vibes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut both of those out. And I love the paper packs that have all of this extra stuff in it. Um, and everything coordinates. It is awesome. Alright, so we're going to cut those out right here. And then I'm going to adhere them back to back. Trying to get them as straight as possible. Okay, they're a, it's a little um, non-even, so I'm just going to take my scissors and and go ahead and cut that off. And cut off this little extra pink part up here. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sticker pack right here and I'm going to, um, first of all, I'm going to see if there's like two stickers that um, would match back to back. Um, let's see, it looks like these right here are going to match up perfectly. So we're going to take these. And there's many ways to do this. You could take your big circle punch. Um, actually, I'll show you all that in one minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. And I'm going to stick these up at the top. And then line this one up on this side. And there we go. Um, let's actually go ahead and make another one, and I'll show you um, how I do it with the circle punch. Um, let's see, and we'll just go ahead and we'll use these because I like these also. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these apart. If only y'all could see my big old mess over here, my goodness. And it here them together. Make sure they're going the right way. And then just cut whatever is not even.
There we go. And then um, what you can do is take an extra piece of paper, a scrap. This is actually really good um, to do if you have scrap pieces of paper that coordinate. Um, so I'm going to find a piece right here that I've already cut out. Let's see, here's some little pieces. So here we go. Um, and I actually kind of like this, this one because it, it blends in. So I'm gonna take my circle punch, any size you want. Um, this is just the biggest one I have. I'm gonna cut out two. I'm going to just stick a little bit right here and stick that up there. And then you just want to make sure that they're even. I mean, I think I remember seeing a sticker over here that might work. This will actually work right here. And then maybe if I wanted to on this side, I could add hmm, maybe the moon and a couple of the stars. That would be pretty. That's not even a sticker. There we go. Try to use as much of the, the paper pack as we can. And then um, I'm going to stick it in my laminating sheets right here. And I don't think I'll be able to get, oh, maybe I might be able to get both of them in here. That would be awesome. I can open this one back up. Look at that. Perfect. There we go. And I'm going to go off camera for a minute and I'm going to laminate these. I like the page markers better than the um, bookmarks. I just think they they look nicer. Um, you know, my personal preference. All right, so here they're coming out of my laminator. There we go. I'm going to get my paper trimmer back out. You could do this um, just with your scissors. I just like to, to use my paper trimmer. Um, I'm just going to cut around. scissors. Oh, actually, that's a lot. So let's cut a little bit more off of there. And then with my scissors, I'm just going to cut around right here. That is so uneven. Oh my goodness. I think it's my scissors. It can't be me, right? Okay. <laughs> and the same right here. Alright, 
that's uneven too. Yeah, it's definitely the scissors, guys. It's not me. Yeah, I can't even cut that off. Let me get another pair of scissors here. Oh, yeah. It actually was the scissors, I think. <laughs> or so we'll say. All right, I'm just going to trim it up a little bit because it's a little janky. A little bit closer to the side. That's All right, so there we go. There are our two page markers, and you can add them you know, wherever you want in here. You can have them sticking out or just sticking flat in your book. All right, there we go, guys. Now that's the end of that one. So thanks for stopping by, spend a little bit of time with me. Stay tuned, and I will be back soon with another tutorial, and we'll be making the tassel for the side and some bookmarks. Till next time, guys. Bye.